Hey, good evening, what's going on? Sorry, let me just put some background Zen music on here. Zach had an interesting question. He says, all the JavaScript people out there, that's me. <laughs> that's me, pick me. This might sound like a dumb question. No such thing as a dumb question. Unless you ask. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but do you guys actually memorize all the different syntaxes? I feel like I have to stop every two seconds to look something up. Yes, you do. In the beginning, it's so painful. You have to look up things all the fucking time. It sucks. When I was learning, we didn't even have Stack Overflow. We had, to, we had this, it was really difficult. Um, now you got ChatGPT, so ho hopefully that can get you unstuck. But, the, but it really comes down to practice, muscle memory. I've been doing this for 20 years. For some great reading material, Peter Norvig. Oh, what the fuck? I hate that stupid Google thing. Peter Norvig, teach yourself, teach yourself programming in 10 years. Really takes a long time because it's lots of muscle memory. You have to learn so many different languages. How many languages? Well, let me tell you, there are over 5,000 languages in the world. And you can, you can have your own list of every single one. This didn't exist when I was learning the program. We built this over the past seven years. Yeah, holy shit, seven years. We've got a list of every single language, including JavaScript, number one. And this isn't my opinion. This is based upon uh, measurements, foundation score, inbound links. This foundation score is, is how many languages are built using this language. So JavaScript. Fantastic language. So the other thing I want to give you a tip on is look at this fantastic book. This book, I love this book. I would say it probably changed my life. Eloquent JavaScript by, I don't even know how to pronounce that name and I am not going to try, but I love this guy. He's written a lot of great open source packages. And look at this. It's a, such a beautiful book. I recommend buying the paper version because it's worth every penny. But also the, the fucking son of a bitch nice guy that he is puts it up oh no starch press is a great publisher he puts it on his website you can just download the pdf so how about that while i have you talk about um, memorization look at mastering regular expressions this is a fantastic one it's regular expressions are painful syntax but if you get muscle memory in those things oh my goodness world is your oyster um at this rate, it'll take me years to finish your program. You will get better. You gotta keep just practice, practice, practice. You're gonna be amazed. Um, the beginning of programming is so painful. Oh my God, for the first years. I gave up so many times in those first years. And then at some point, for me, I think it was around 2008, I, 16 years ago, I just said, fuck it, I'm going all in. Maybe 2007, 17 years ago. Um, and then. And then I gave it real good, hard three years. And then I was like, fuck it, I'm done. And again, I gave up again for like two months. And then I was, and ever since, and I got back in. And ever since then, I've been hooked. It's awesome. It is a fun thing to learn. Keep going, sir. Now, if you don't like syntax, check out this fucker. This is scroll. So, so I've built my own languages now. I'm, I'm at that point. And, um, I've figured out that you actually never need syntax. How about that? How about that? Um, oops, what did I? Um, so look at these leet sheets. So this is called, this is a, a, uh, a three-piece stack, particles, parsers, and um, scroll. And basically, there's no syntax. There's no visible syntax. So this is a particle. Um, it's basically, each line is a particle and each word is a word these are we call them atoms and there's atoms are split by spaces particles are split by new lines and then subparticles are made by indenting um, a particle by one by a single extra space kind of like python or yaml you've probably seen this pattern before and this is particles and then we have a language called parsers and so parsers lets you build new keywords pretty much and then from that, we have scroll. And so here we have tons of parsers you can use. And what can you do with this? Oh my goodness, what can't you do? You can build, this is my blog, it's all written in scroll. PLDB, that 
site I showed you. This is all written in scroll. We've got data science written in scroll. We have news.pub is written in scroll. We've got scroll hub written in scroll. We've got, here we go, over a thousand sites. Here we go. Let's just look at some of them we built today. Pizza restaurant. What's this? That's nothing. What's this? We got a home page. We built that. Look at this guy. Um, it is awesome. It's the new thing on the block. Um, there's no syntax. Um, but it's, I'm not going to say it's easy, especially if you haven't mastered programming yet. JavaScript, fantastic language. Check this out. So anyway, long-winded answer, Zach. Keep going. It takes muscle memory. It's painful in the early days as learning anything is. Learning to cook, whatever. It's just, just stick with it. You're going to give up a, a bunch of times, I'm sure. But just keep practicing a little bit each day. You get a little bit better each day. And it compounds. It really does. And you're going to hit a point where suddenly you know more than you don't, right? So where 51% where of the day, you're not stuck. You're just cruising. And, and, and before you know it, you're going to 98% of the day, you're going to be cruising. That's going to take 10 years, as Peter Norvig says. But it's so worth it. It's so fun. And um, enjoy it, man. Enjoy the ride. All right. Good luck. Cheers.